We're here with Brayden Atwood. He's the owner and promoter of Elite Wrestling Alliance. Uh, he's been waiting patiently for us and so glad to have him on the show. Thanks so much for being Scott, here. Scott, Zach, thank you guys so much for having yeah. me. It's a pleasure and an honor. So we got the we got the show coming up in December, but before we do that, uh, let's talk about what uh, Elite Wrestling Alliance is. Uh, let's talk about the company as a whole. Absolutely. So um, Elite Wrestling Alliance, for those of you who don't know, is a professional wrestling organization um there are a lot of different small what would be considered like indie wrestling promotions in the area um we obviously are very very new just started in april at the thornhill education center and um we just um from from day one we just wanted to bring just fun entertainment um it's for for those of you who are wrestling fans you know it's just um it's it's an awesome form of entertainment that just it lets you escape reality it's just like you know any other tv show movie anything you're invested in when you can come and watch this live every month it it helps the community just be able to engage on something that is just fun and entertaining yeah and you get to follow the the characters you get to follow the storylines as well absolutely that was one of our biggest driving factors of what we wanted to do with elite wrestling alliance it wasn't just putting together wrestling matches it was making sure there was story there was character development everything that goes into keeping somebody invested in what's going on yeah yeah, you've got you're you're lucky. Your hosts today are me and Scott. We're two long time wrestling fans uh, since since our both of our childhoods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, awesome. Are, are, is it the same for you, Brayden? Uh, you've been watching your whole life. Or? Absolutely. Yeah. I uh, very early on grew up watching wrestling. I've always loved it, and um, it was always a dream of mine to be a professional wrestler. Yeah. Now you know when. I kept growing older and wasn't <laughs> growing any bigger. Yeah, yeah. That kind of diminished a little uh, bit. But yeah. um, actually, uh, several years ago, uh, my my wife, who um, is a huge wrestling fan as well, um, she kind of drove me to actually pursue my passion. So I started training. Wow. Actually, became a professional wrestler. Started training actually here in Frankfurt at uh, what was Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling at yeah. the time, mm-hmm. and uh, absolutely loved it. Still, <clears throat> still actually wrestling to this day. Oh, but yeah. my long term goal was to one day be able to run a professional wrestling organization yeah. now of course that came a lot quicker than what <laughs> i figured would happen but the the cards um laid down on the table perfectly and so now here we are um in april of 2023 we started elite wrestling alliance there at the thornhill education center we've been running full throttle ever since Nice. And so, uh, like you said, you got to play the, the hand that you're dealt, right? And so uh, running uh, Elite Wrestling Alliance, uh, there's the show, right, in December. Absolutely. You December got monthly shows, but the yes. next show is December. Yes, December 2nd. We actually took uh, November off. There was a few scheduling things, but... <laughs> December 2nd, we'll be back at the Thornhill Education Center for EWA Prime, number five, holiday edition. Cool. Um, so, you know, we'll we'll have all the festivities. Um, Santa may or may not be there. <laughs> and, and who are we looking at right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, just to run down, we have uh, Miss Morgan Jane there on the left side of the poster. We have Tyler Logan. We have the EWA champion, Marty Clay. Listen, oh. that's a Time good out. That, the that's belt. That's a good looking belt. The belt. 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 The belt is awesome. The belt is <laughs> absolutely awesome. Congrats on the love. belt. I Love the I belt. mean, that's better than than some of the big boys that I've seen. That is that's yeah, outstanding. That the belt is neat. We're actually um, this is actually exclusive. Nobody at Facebook, nothing knows about this yet. But there is a brand new belt. Um, that will be defended or will be won okay. in January, but it will be getting displayed and debuted in December. Oh, like a, new, you know, a new title. A new not title, just a, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm sorry. Not a new yeah. belt, new title, but yes. So that's the first time anybody other than myself and obviously the guy that made it has ever seen it. Nice. So I'm super excited about it. It yeah. is it is awesome. We'll be crowning that new champion there in January. Okay. Um, the 13th, I believe, will be that show there nice what, what's your uh, uh, okay wrestling <laughs> nerds we don't get a chance to talk about wrestling <laughs> what's your favorite belt of all time my favorite belt yeah actual physical belt yeah the intercontinental belt yeah. that um cody rhodes actually brought back uh, mid the, kind of the white step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. the white belt that is my personal favorite although i do i i am a huge fan of the new intercontinental belt okay. it is it's but I don't I'm, know that I'm, I've seen it. I, I was always a big <laughs> fan of the old school WCW like World Heavyweight Championship. The flare belt. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. And that, honestly, the one that we it's just saw, close to it, is, it, it like kind it. of I mirrors it. that. But this yeah. is better. <laughs> honestly, so so better. who else do we have here? Uh, we screen? also have uh, Steel Wool. He um, <laughs> he is 
an awesome, awesome individual. Very, very funny. Uh, um, and then Mr. By the Book, Gaston LaRue. Oh, my. I love the book. Thumbs up. The book. Yeah, that's the book of wrestling. Cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's amazing. I like it, this. What what type of things might be in the book of wrestling? Well, unfortunately, I've never seen uh-huh. inside oh, the book sure. of wrestling. Yeah. But you have. I mean, from what I have hear, the power to hold yeah. the book. Right? I mean, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can imagine some other wrestlers trying to get their hands on it, <laughs> and, and some of the things that might ensue if, if anybody ever stole the the book of wrestling. So so will the uh, the the main championship belt will that be uh, defended on, in December? Yes. Okay, it okay. is actually Marty Clay has been holding open challenges. Okay. And so this will be another open challenge. So as of right now, we do not know who his opponent's going to be. But obviously, that will be decided come December 2nd. Gotcha. All right. Um, I, well, you mentioned the, the show in January. Let's talk about some more, some more of the future shows you guys have coming up. Absolutely. Out. So we have uh, January 13th. Um, I don't have the list in front oh, of me. Oh, there, there it is, right there. We have January 13th, February 10th, March 16th, April 13th, and May 11th. Mm-hmm. Um, we are with Thornhill through at least uh, July, I believe. Okay. Um, but those are the next um, five dates at least, plus our December 2nd date. And, so, if, and if people want to connect with you on social media, I see some... some uh, addresses there yeah. Yeah. absolutely yes uh facebook is very very simple it's just elite wrestling alliance has our logo right there um instagram and twitter we are a little slacking on the <laughs> posting on instagram and twitter it's tough. but it is elite wrestling alliance one on instagram and elite w a k y on that's x not even twitter yeah, anymore X, right, yeah. and um youtube we've uh, finally started getting content up on youtube our last show as of tonight at 7 30 the complete show each each match has been posted so the last match will be posted tonight at 7 30 so oh, nice. go subscribe watch those other matches we also have a couple matches up from our july show where our champion was actually crowned oh cool so um it's it's really exciting stuff go watch that you know catch up on you know if you're interested in coming december 2nd you know maybe you want to catch up on what mm-hmm. happened last month that um that's your opportunity to do so yeah. Uh, you, we were talking uh, before we went on air about uh, the the production value, right, and mm. the efforts that you've put into into the presentation of the show as well. Absolutely, yeah. I believe that from from the get go, the wrestling experience is not just in the ring. It is everything from the time you walk in the door until the time you leave. And so we focus so heavily on the production value, you know, on the lights, on the stage, on everything that makes it from the time the wrestlers exit the curtain until the time the wrestlers get in the ring until the time they leave at the end of the match. Everything is, um, we want it to be the highest quality possible. Obviously, you know, we're starting from the ground up. We've got a long ways to grow, but um, everything from the lights, the flash, the flare, everything that makes wrestling great, that's what we strive to do. Let, let's let's throw a couple fan questions at you while you're here before absolutely. we let you go. Uh, absolutely. Give us give us a Mount Rushmore of of top performers for you. Uh, uh, all time wrestling talent. <laughs> all time wrestling talent. Top. Yeah. Would you say top three? Let's go four. Four. Or top. you can make it three if you. Yeah. If, top yeah, four. Whatever. We can do. We can do top four here. Um, does this have to be in order? No. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. No. Not yeah. in order. Okay. So we've got Stone Cold. Yes. Absolutely. By far revolutionary of his time yeah. uh-huh. um we had the rock yeah yeah absolutely yeah. awesome performer Shawn michaels put Shawn michaels i like, in michaels, that. I like Shawn michaels in that yeah and um number four number four. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so hard I know, I know. number four i'm going to say roman reigns okay Ooh. reason being yeah. here reason being he took Something you know, he was at such a mid 2015, you know, 2016 was it kind of a you know he was getting pushed, right. but nobody wanted right. to really accept him yeah. for to be the top guy. He sat out, of course, he had the the cancer in the, in that time, yeah. but yeah. he was able to yeah you know, reset himself. When he came back, he was the star that that company could build around. Oh yeah, and that pushed him to be just mega yeah he's the chief and it's like it's it's a it's a testament to perseverance right and and like you said i mean he was getting uh, essentially i mean had the rock with him in the ring uh we're getting real heavy into wrestling talk (laughs) but but yeah with the rock in the ring like trying to kind of anoint him as the next guy and it and the fans were just sniffing it out not reading it but um but yeah that's a that's a good pull because yeah he's like 
the face of the company right now, and okay. he's really happy for him. Yeah. yeah. If you t- if you tell them this is what they're going to love, then they're not going to love it. Yeah. Uh, one more. What's your favorite angle of all time storyline? Of all time. Of all time. Oh, but or any, you know. <laughs> That's so, just, just something that pops into, head, into your mind. I am a huge fan of the Austin Vince McMahon like ninety seven oh, yeah, era just yeah. back and forth. Yeah, because who um, who didn't at the time, I'm sure, didn't want to hit their boss in the head with a bedpan when they yeah. were in the hospital. <laughs> 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 but I do tie back into what we talked about earlier. I, I'm a huge fan of long, drawn-out storylines. So the whole bloodline, the Roman Reigns bloodline yeah, storyline, oh, where everything was so interconnected, everything was so woven together. Mm-hmm. I, I loved that. So one of those two. I can't uh, you pick mean, one. And, and one more wrestling for you. Uh, for, we'll ask you our question of the day as well. Um, but another wrestling. Uh, who, who's wrestling right now in WWE or um, AEW. Uh, AEW? Yeah, anybody wrestling now that's your favorite or that you've – that isn't an elite wrestling alliance, of course. Those are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I am a huge Tommaso Ciampa fan. Yeah. Um, him and Johnny Gargano both. I um, I watched them when they were on the independent scene mm-hmm. um, doing exactly what, you know, we do every week. And then, you know, up into NXT yeah. and then on into I WWE. I love watching them in NXT. Yeah. Um, I, I love their work. Um, and I really think that once the fans get into get into them, you know, really, really get engaged, I think they're just awesome performers. Yeah. Oh, 100%. That's a good, that's a good call. Yeah. Those, those, yeah. Both of those guys are just amazing. Uh, question of the day, though. We're... Thanksgiving debate territory here since Thanksgiving is next week. Um, asking our viewers out there, uh, are you team turkey or team ham? I am 1,000% team turkey. Nice. Okay, team good. Ham can come well, at any the, point in time. Thanksgiving yeah, right. is for turkey. It's for turkey. It's right. for turkey. <laughs> yeah, you can have ham almost any time of the year, exactly. like Easter or whenever, what other holidays, and definitely Christmas, but... That's a good. That's a good answer. <laughs> Braden Atwood, thank you for being here. Thank nice you to guys. meet you, sir. Uh, December second, seven p.m. at the Thornhill Education Center. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a huge show, and I hope you all have uh, lots of success. Yeah.